This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Ace of here and welcome to JavaScript tutorial number 9. Uh, today we're going to be covering what I wanted to cover in tutorial number 8. Uh, and I'm going to show you the problem I'm having. Maybe some uh, someone who's a bit more advanced than me in JavaScript will be able to solve my problem. Or tell me uh, it's not possible in any way, because that's the uh, the only answer I have at the moment. Uh, anyway, let's go to the code. Um, so what I wanted to show you is doing this with a while loop. Um, basically, create a variable called control and define it with naught. Create an infinite loop uh, while true. I'll actually talk about this um, in, a, in a sec after I've gone over this. If control equals 10, break else if control equals 5 continue uh, and write it out and increment it and the problem I'm having is when I run this um, it the script reaches this and it screws up and it doesn't work with the while loop but it does with the for loop so I'm kinda confused uh, anyway let's just cover this while true actually just while I remember we might as well cover it um, basically because our loop needs a condition um, um, to keep it to, to decide whether it continues or whether it stops, uh, we don't always have we don't have to use a control variable like we have. We can use whatever we want actually. Uh, so we could have said while one is less than ten. This would also be a um, an infinite loop because one is always going to be less than ten. You know, unless you go into your CPU and tell it you know reprogram the CPU or something. So one is greater than ten. One is always going to be less than ten, and this creates an infinite loop. And that's all I wanted to do for this. I didn't want to have. Um, I wanted to uh, have to manually stop it. I didn't want to have to have my while loop reach something and say, "Hey, wait a minute, this uh, doesn't work with my condition." I wanted to be able to manually stop it, and that's that's what I've done here. I've just created an infinite loop by saying while true, and because true is always going to be true, like one is always going to be less than ten, this creates an infinite loop, and that's what I essentially wanted to do. Anyway, moving on, what we're going to be covering today is the con are the continue and break statements, um, and we're going to be doing it in a for loop because it doesn't seem to work in this while loop, like I've told you, and it didn't work in a do while as well. I did try a do while loop as well, uh, just in case anyone's wondering. Um, so again type out the words for the two parentheses var i equals zero and because i don't want to have any condition in here making it an infinite loop um, i've just left this blank and that's another cool thing about for loops you can leave any of these blank you can you can leave more than one of these blank you can leave all of these blank this would work this is a valid for loop okay you could have um... uh... you could Declare i outside here and increment i here. Oops, Oops i plus one. Okay, and uh, this doing all this like I've done it here is uh, exactly the same as doing it in here. It's just harder to do it outside. It's a lot easier to do to do it inside the loop like we've done. So if r i equals zero, uh, i plus plus. Here. Okay, so it's just it just makes it easier, and it also makes our code look cleaner. the The reason I've left left this blank is because I want to make an infinite for loop again, so I can control it. I can I have to tell it to stop manually. Okay, uh, and so I've just left that blank, and that will make an infinite loop for us. Okay, now what what's what's going to happen is first let's talk about the code to be executed. Um, it's every t every iteration, it's going to output i and it's going to output a line break as well. Um, before it does that though, it's going to check if i is equal to 5. If i is equal to 5, it's going to continue, and I'm going to talk about that in a sec. Uh, else if i is equal to 10, okay, break. Now before I talk about the continue statement, I want to talk about this break statement. What the break statement allows us to do in JavaScript is break out of, um, break out of a loop, okay? If we're inside a loop, and uh, we t we type out the break statement like we've done here, except this is in a condition. Uh, when it hits that break statement, it's going to stop that iteration of the loop immediately. Okay, that's the key word there. Immediately, 
Remember when we had our condition, we had I, uh, sorry, control was not equal to 10. Even when control was equal to 10, it had to get to the end of the loop uh, before it would loop back up to the top and check that condition again here. What's happening here is it doesn't actually have to get to the bottom of the loop. As soon as it hits this break statement, it will immediately, again immediately, break out of that loop statement. And it'll say, whoops, I hit that skip to here after the closing curly brace, okay? So that's what the break statement does. It immediately breaks out of any loop. Um, any loop, yeah. Uh, it does. It do, the break statement works on the while loop and the do while. The only thing that was screwing up here is uh, the uh, continue statement. I tested it without the continue statement. That's all I know. Uh, what this continue statement does, though, is if i is equal to five, it doesn't break out of the uh, the loop entirely. What it does is it just skips this it this uh, iteration. Um, so basically, when it hits this continue statement, uh, it, so it says i is equal to five. Okay, yeah. Well, that's true. Let's go into this block now. Well, continue. Skip to the end of this loop. And let's loop back up and check that um, that condition again. Okay, uh, so the continue it will completely skip everything after it. All this is not executed. Okay, it's not even checked. Okay, uh, to demonstrate this even better, let's try typing in document dot right here. Hello. Theoretically, what should happen is um, it should. Even though uh, this skips, theoretically, this should complete this uh, the entire if block up to the closing curly brace, and then it should skip. You know, just because that that's more um, that seems more right. Okay, what will actually happen though is this won't output hello at all because the continue statement it whenever it hits it, it skips everything after it up up until it hits the next iteration of the loop. Okay, when it hits when it gets the next iteration of the loop, it just continues as usual. But um. When it is continue statement, it skips everything after it. And uh, just to demonstrate this, let's uh, run the code. So open up our browser, find the file, drag and drop it in. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Hey, wait a minute, where's five? Okay, and the reason being it skipped five is because, as I said before, the continue skips everything after it. Remember, it didn't even output hello. Okay, there's no hello here. Uh, like we expected it would. It completely skipped this, it completely skipped this, completely skipped this, 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 and that's that's the key part there really. Well, this part and this part here, the outputting which uh, tells us what actually happened really essentially. It completely skipped everything after this continue statement. And also, uh, when we incremented to 10, it was 9 and then it hit the, uh, the increment. Checked if it was equal to 5, it wasn't checked if it was equal to 10, it was, hit the break statement, and immediately broke out of the loop, so it didn't even have a chance to uh, output 10. In uh, in um, in another type of loop, uh, it would have had to, uh, if it were in the condition, if it was 10, it would have, in a do-while anyway, it would have had to get to the end, and then it would, uh, and then it would loop back up, sorry, and it would check the condition, if the condition was, uh, false then it would stop but here because it hits a break statement it completely uh, gets out of the loop entirely without having to get to the end so it didn't even output 10 okay um, again this is a bit of a uh, hard topic to understand so if you have any questions um, please co either leave a comment or PM me anyway a 12 tutorial over and out